Hi, my name's Dan Wilden. I'm the Renewable Product Manager here at Alpha. I just want to talk to you today about the Alpha E-Tech Hybrid. So it's a new product that we're launching at the moment. It consists of one of our gas combination boilers and a, and a monoblock air source heat pump. Now it works, we look at the heating season and it, it works over the heating season in different ways. So we break it down, sort of spring and autumn, the winter and the cold winter. So in the spring and autumn season, when it's, you know, temperature is a little bit more mild, sort of 7 to 10 degrees, we're looking at utilising the high efficiency of the heat pump. So with, with a bit more milder air temperatures, we can get a really high efficiency out of the heat pump. And when we dive into sort of winter sort of times, we look at using maybe both products together. Um, and then when it's really cold and the efficiency on the heat pump and heat pump technology as a whole isn't so great, that's when we rely on our trusty combination boiler. So we kind of break the heating season down and you'll, you'll look and we've got the best kind of fact that we can give about the product is it give you about a 60% reduction in your gas usage and space heating. So for 60% of the heating season, when it's, when it's more mild sort of temperature, we'll be looking at a, a, carbon, a really carbon reduction saving on using a, on a monoblock heat pump. Um, another clever thing we've, we've, sort of we've done about the, the package is we've sort of, all the products that you need are, are in one box. So rather than the installer having to you know, buy one thing here and then get another thing from somewhere else, um, we've actually got all of the stuff that you need in the box, all one product code at the merchant. So it's just a bit more simple install. So, I'll go through some of the main features about the product now. So, the boiler itself is ready for a 20% blender hydrogen. So, if that's something we see in the future, um, where we're sending a 20% blend down the pipelines, the boiler's already available to run, run on that gas. Um, another interesting thing about the product is it, it doesn't require an airing cupboard. So, typically, 60% of UK houses have a gas combination boiler installed. So, that means at some point over the last 20 to 30 years, someone's come in and probably removed your airing cupboard and, and you've gained a vital bit of space in your property. Um, so because the hot water is served solely by the gas boiler, it still gives us our 14.1 litres a minute of domestic hot water and, and we don't need an airing cupboard. Um, the boiler is also capable of running on, on LPG as well, so it can either run on a, a mains gas connection or if you're or in a more off-grid property, um, it, can, it can run on bottled gas as well. Um, Another each interesting thing which is, is quite fundamental as well is we, we don't need to do any drastic changes to our heating system. So as long as you've had a, a gas boiler in there already and your heating's run quite well, we can actually run it on the existing pipe work and, and, and the existing radiators. Um, now how it works, so it's very clever in how it works and this is kind of where our smart tech controller come in. So when the engineer's finished installing the system and he's, he's going through the sort of commissioning stages, he'll input the electricity price per kilowatt that you pay and your gas price per kilowatt that you pay from a recent energy bill. And then what the smart tech will do is every time there's a call for heat or we, or we turn our thermostat up, it will do a quick cost calculation. So it will take what's called the COP of the heat pump, so the coefficient of performance, and it will work out the COP of the boiler and it will compare them against the prices and it will always use the cheapest appliance at that current time. Um, Another key feature is it, it doesn't, if anyone can fit a gas combi boiler already, they can sort of sit on a day's training with us and the idea is that they'll then feel comfortable to fit this product because it's something they're familiar with and it's a little bit of renewable technology thrown in as well. Um, another key part is installing a heat pump is a massive cost. If you're installing a full heat pump and you've got to convert your whole system to low temperature, it's, it's a really big sort of end bill that we've got to pay. So we're looking at this product as more of like a transitional product. So you can have this installed at a much lesser cost. You've got a product that you're familiar with. You've got a really small air source heat pump in your garden and it will just, it will, it will differentiate how well your, your system acts to low temperature. So you might find that already a majority of houses in the UK that, that radiators are generally oversized anyway, and you, you could be much more beneficial running at a lower temperature. So this works on like a flow temperature modulation. So with the outside probe, it will work out what flow temperature it needs to run at to provide heat to the property. Um, and in cases where it's not, and it's a really cold day, we've got the boiler there for higher flow temperatures for the backup. Um, so it's a really good sort of product that allows a gradual transition to low temperature heating. Um, so another thing to look at is kind of like, if you have this product installed, over the lifespan of this product, you could maybe the next following year or a couple of years later, you could go, oh, do you know what, I might upgrade some of my radiators 
and you, you'll see the efficiency change within the packet. You'll see it utilise the heat pump more. And you'll see your house slowly adjust to a low temperature heating system. And this means that during the lifespan of this product, you're almost you're building yourself up ready for a heat pump install. So the next product that you have done, you might be comfortable jumping in and having a full heat pump um, and your house is almost ready for that, that transition. Another thing, um, that all of our boilers accept a preheated cold main, so that means we can input some solar thermal technology. So if the package alone, you want it to be a bit more, bit more um, using a bit of solar and stuff, but the draw of the heat pump, it runs on 10.3 amps max current, so it's a really minimal draw of electricity. So, so systems with solar PV or, or solar thermal work perfectly with the package. So I'll go on to a little bit about the hydronic setup of the heat pump now and, and, and the system. So essentially, it's really simple for, for any engineers. You take the flow from the heat pump, that goes into the return of our boiler, and the flow from the boiler comes out and completes the circuit, and the return goes back to the heat pump. So it's really simple to install. The little analogy is it's kind of like piping a radiator up outside. Um, so if you've got an existing gas combi boiler or just an existing gas, combi bo uh, gas, gas boiler in general, it's a really simple addition to add this into the property. Um, our domestic hot water works exactly the same as a normal gas, gas combi would, so there's no issues with anything there. So sort of dimensions of the heat pumps, you'll see from the image here, but it, I mean it really is, for, for heat pumps, it's a really small heat pump. So we've got a height of 745, we've got a length of 845, and we've got a depth of just 350. So for people with limited garden space that don't want a huge heat pump installed, it ticks a lot of boxes and it's compact size. It's also, it also only weighs 45 kilos, so you're perfectly capable of putting it on a wall bracket like you'll see here, or we can mount it on feet. There's just a lot of options of where we can get this product outside your house. So, internals of the unit, it's really simple. There's no pump in here. We're just using the pump that's already inside the combination boiler. But in here, we've got some little key features. We've got a little mesh filter. It's almost like a strainer on the return. This is a serviceable part. And with our valves, we can just valve off the unit clean out the, the mesh filter, pop it back in, it just helps with a little protection to the system. We also supply with the kit what's called an anti-freeze thermostatic valve. So with, with heat pump systems in general, you have to put what's called glyco into, uh, similar to like an anti-freeze, and that's to protect the outside pipe work and protect the outside heat pump. Now with fitting our valve, you don't need to put glyco in the system then. So for installers that are worried about dosing the system with glyco and how they maintain that glyco within the system, you can fit the valve, you can put normal heat and water through the, through the system. So kind of how it works. So we've been a bit clever. We've limited the flow of the heat pump at 55. So if we're ever asking for a flow temperature of over 55 degrees, we're going to use the boiler because that's where the boiler's, boiler's more efficient. Um, however, when we're looking at lower temperature heating, maybe on a milder day, sort of seven degrees outside, we can sort of utilise the heat pump then and run the system at a lower flow temperature. Um, and again, like I said earlier, it works on a, on a COP calculation, so it works out the efficiency of the heat pump, efficiency of the boiler, and it will always choose that, that cheaper appliance. So, a little bit about the Smart Tech controller, because this is kind of where the brains of the system are. Um, essentially, it's a Bluetooth controller. Um, you, you twist it to change it and click it. It can be wall-mounted if we want to pop it on the wall. Um, it comes with a receiver, so the receiver is wired into the boiler. This is it here, um, and this is the bit that's wired back to the heat pump. So we have a wire running from our receiver back to our heat pump, and the controller itself is wireless. Um, there is a little bit more functionality in a sense that this receiver can be connected to our Wi-Fi network. So if you connect this to the Wi-Fi network, this enables you to make use of the, the smartphone app. We've also got a desktop app as well. Um, let's say if you want to set it so when you're driving home from work, your heating comes on, or you want to, oh, I've left the heating on, you can turn it off while you're nipping out to the shops and things like that. So it's just a little bit more functionality. However, it still works via Bluetooth without any Wi-Fi. So if you don't have Wi-Fi, it's not something you're interested in. It can be used as just a standard controller. It also allows us to input the fuel tariff. So your installer will set it up and it will input your current energy tariffs. But you know, things change, new bill might come through, tariffs might change, suddenly there might be a spike in gas prices, it could be electricity that rockets, or well, we can use our smartphone app and we can adjust our, our settings and then our system will react so that the cost changes. So that's it for today. I um, mean, if you've got any questions, comment below or you can reach us at alpha-innovation.co.uk. Alpha Thank you.